I improvise these um, videos uh, just because on a Saturday it's a lot of fun um, and I want to be with your company. Um, we're going to be making muscles today. Okay, who's on? Anybody on? Nobody's on. It's a beautiful day. Everybody's out and about. That's what it is. That's okay. Let's get started. Wait, when you're tell, well, make... when, when someone is on, right? I'll... One person. Okay, one person is on. Hello, who's my first viewer? We don't know. You don't know who's on, Nettie? Two people. Two people, hi. Okay, let's get started. We're going to be making muscles. Muscles is one of those things that a lot of people order out and are a little intimidating, intimidated by making it home. And I just want to tell you, it's the easiest thing you can make. So here I have four pounds of muscles. I'm going to show you how you remove them, how you wash them and everything else. And we're going to be making two different recipes, an Italian recipe and another American French, but something with cream. So it's definitely not Italian. So let's get started. These are uh, my muscles. I try to buy them the same day. I'm going to cook them. If you get them the day before, do not leave them in water. What you do is you rinse them under cold running water, then you take a, a uh, kitchen towel, wet it, and place it on top with some ice and leave it in the fridge. Don't leave them more than a day. I like to buy them and use them. Now, any, any muscle that's open or cracked, you need to remove because the muscles need to be live. So if they're shut, sealed, that means it's a fresh muscle. Here it is. You see, this is another one that's dead. I'm pushing it and it's not doing anything. That means it's dead. So we're going to remove it. That's the most um, important thing. Okay. Another thing you want to do is when you uh, buy the muscle, if there's a little beard right here, just yank it off and rinse them again. But that's about it. They're pretty easy uh, to do. These look pretty good. Here's one with the little beard. You see what I mean? Just right here. Pull it off. Um, okay, we're ready to go. So let's move right over to the stove and we're gonna make the uh, cream sherry wine muscle first. So let's move right over to the stove for my, my people with the cameras. Let's go right over. Okay, so I have a saute pan, and I'm gonna put the heat on medium, and I'm gonna add just a little bit, just a tablespoon of the extra virgin olive oil. And the reason that is because it gets the butter and the cream, so you don't want to overpower it. The next thing that goes in is going to be a shallot. I like shallots because shallots give you a sweeter taste. And when I'm using cream, I like the shallot for sure. Yeah. So then I go, ooh, can't wait to see the final result. You, um, okay, Serena, come on early and you'll get the final result. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just a large clove of garlic. I'm gonna mince it right in. You don't want the onion to burn. So you wanna make sure that the heat is just on medium. Oh, and already you could, uh, it's sauteing beautifully, so it smells beautiful. The garlic goes right in. I'm gonna quickly rinse my hands. Okay, see that, how beautiful it looks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the two tablespoons of butter. So right now we have a clove of garlic. It was a rather large shallot or two smaller ones. And what you wanna do is just stir it so uh, the butter melts and the onion sweat. Okay, now here's the time. This is what you do. You hold it the opposite direction and just pull down. There you go. And put a little bit more. You hear it? Now the butter is melting. Come closer, maybe you wanna see that. 
see how beautiful that is. Someone said, hello, dear cousin, come to Charlotte and we can cook together. That must be my darling cousin, Fausta. Ciao, Fausta. Fausta, questa non è la ricetta che facevo mamma, però la faccio pure con i pomodori. Questa che è una ricetta un poco, un poco francese oggi. So here I am, okay, sauteing beautifully. And I'm going to, uh, as soon as they turn golden, I'm going to add the mussels in and then the sherry wine. Tina Diamore keeps commenting. Ciao Tina, come stai? Tutti bene? Mi saluti tanto a tutti quelli che mi conoscono. Any comments? No, I didn't see any comments. How that. many viewers? Okay, let's go ahead. Add half of those. Giovanna said, Zia, mi saluti. Ciao Giovanna, come stai, Zia? Prima sono stata io al tuo live. Okay, here it goes. She said, Bene. Ciao, salutami mamma. Ah no, Giovanna, scusa, sono stata al live di Marianna prima. Okay. No, ready? And then Tina yeah. said, quando vieni al dito? Eh hey, Tina, dobbiamo vedere, dobbiamo vedere che succede con questo virus. Speriamo quest'estate, veramente speriamo quest'estate. Giovanna okay. said, ti sta guardando mamma. Ah, ciao Anna. Che cosa incredibile. Ok, guys, so now I'm going to add the sherry in because I want it to evaporate. So before the, um, before the uh, uh, muscles start opening up with water and then it's not going to evaporate as quickly. So I added the, the sherry in and uh, higher your flame so it goes quickly. Okay, now I also put some croutons. So I'm crostone in the oven. While this is doing its thing, I'm gonna take a look because I don't want it to burn. So I don't know if you guys wanna look in the pan or follow me. Let me just, yeah, I was right. Couple, couple, couple minutes, we wanna burn them, okay? Ecco qua, ho fatto dei crostoni with olive oil and some pecorino romano Antonio cheese. Antonio Astorita sei grande. Wait, ciao Antonio, grande io, impossibile. Antonio, non vedo l'ora di fare un bel video con voi a Villachetti. Maybe uh, get the other camera right behind this because it's kind of hard for me to look at both cameras. Maybe if you come right behind, that would be really great. Tina okay. said, if you come to America, you guys can cook together. Tina, certamente, sai, no, no, lo so, no lo so ancora, Salvatore. Salvatore doesn't know yet, but I want to do a, uh, a, a video with the uh, mozzarella. Voglio fare un bel video facendo la mozzarella con Salvatore. You don't have any message, Gacy. They're beautiful. No, opening up in black. Beautifully. I think See Marianna that? is also on. Ciao, Marianna. Oh, okay. Anna Carolina joined. Hi, Anna. How are you, my darling? Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add the cream also. Okay, wonderful. And there it goes. Okay, now another thing I've done is I've uh, boil these baby colorful potatoes. Ho bollito queste patate uh, piccoline colorate e quindi quello che farò, uh, I just gave it a quick boil, so I'm just, they're already cooked, I'm gonna cut them in half and just add them to the, um, to the broth here. Ecco qua. Ti saluta zia Sara. Ciao Zia Sara, chi sei? Agnese? Vincenzo. Oggi sta Vin Ciao Vincenzo! Grazie che mi seguite, veramente è una grande gioia. You know, I'm really humbled that all these people follow me and watch me take the time out of their day to even comment on my videos. It's really wonderful. I'm going to lower the flame because I don't want the cream to curl. Okay, take a look at that. Okay. 
And then what we want is to just let it thicken on its own. And also the potato with that because it adds starch. So look how beautiful and colored. These are the baby purple uh, potatoes. There's some red ones, some white ones. And when you do that, you don't need the extra starch uh, because you're getting the starch from the potatoes already. Okay. Wonderful. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to move it to the other side and put the heat on again. And we're going to make the rest of uh, the mussels. Ecco qui. Ecco qui. Spostiamo. Put the heat on over there. We had the mussels in the cream sauce a couple years ago when we were in uh, Bruges. Uh, almost every day we had the, the moulet, I think they're called in French, and it was just uh, wonderful. Hi, guys. Hi, it's Valentina. Hi, Valentina. Ginda loves you. How are you, my darling? Is everything okay? Sorry I didn't come up last, last week, but I promise I will soon. We're almost done with gymnastics. Okay, so now let's get started with the next recipe, which is very simple. This is something I grew up with uh, so quick, it really is. Okay, flame on medium, medium high, let's say. Now you wanna add a little bit more of the uh, oil. This one I'm gonna say about three tablespoons. So the three tablespoons are in. I'm gonna take my garlic, I peeled it already before and just I uh, got potatoes skin on my hands. Okay, just slice it like this. Massimo's watching. Hi, Massimo. Ciao, Massimo. Tu volevi le cozze? Ecco qui le cozze. Let me get the lid on the other uh, side for... Gianfranco Panico's watching. Ciao, Gianfranco. Come stai? Okay, so that's that. Thank you all really for watching. I'm gonna get a little spicy red pepper to add because you need a little heat. Just give me a second. Vale goes, I love you, Gina. I love you too, Valentina. How is Antonio and Francesco? Okay, I'm gonna put a little heat in. There it goes. Oh, and, and Massimo said, Sono Vicky. Sono? Vicky. Ciao, Vicky. Okay, let's see what, now this, the heat has to go on. All right, just give it a couple seconds for it to um, warm up. And then we'll get the, the muscles in. Any questions, anything? Nothing? No YouTube, maybe, right? No, I don't see the questions. Do you need the questions? Fix. Maybe they're not there? Okay, what about Facebook? Uh, no. No? How many viewers do we have? Right now, four. Four, that's wonderful. Even four makes my day. Four people taking their time out to watch There's like me. 10 on YouTube. That's wonderful, okay. That's really great. And I hope you make all my recipes. I really, the, the reason why sometimes my videos are slow is because I try to go in details so everybody could make the recipes and have uh, great success. And I hope my children one day will too. Your Salvatore is watching. Ciao Salvatore! Senti, guarda che sto facendo. Salvatore, vieni qua. Come, ti faccio vedere. Ecco qua. Vedi? Guarda qua che delizia. Guarda qua. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off because it's already, you don't wanna cook it, but I'm gonna keep the lid on until ready to serve. Okay, I'm so sorry. Look at that. Uh, uh, un poco di the flame was not on, but it was losing gas. I guess that's the beauty of the life. Anything could happen. No wonder the oil wasn't doing anything. I was wondering, uh, che sta succedendo. So we'll see now. Uh, anyway, so if you're in America and I'll try to speak Italian so you can learn some Italian, se siete in Italia, parlo un poco di inglese, così parlate l'inglese. Per chi parla tutte e due, it's okay. Then you're lucky enough. Um, but otherwise, any other questions? Nothing? No. 
Nothing. Guys, you're shaking your head. You could say no. I said no. No? Okay. Zio Enzo non c'è oggi. E Zia Rita, no, they didn't come on. And you said maybe... Anna Maria said ciao, Alessandra. Chi è? Anna Maria Castellone. Oh, ciao Anna Maria, come stai? Anna Maria, tu sì che sai cucinare. Tu sì che sei proprio una chef, dai. Seguo tutte le tue ricette che sono stupende. Sei bravissima. Gladys is watching and then Justine said hello beautiful Alessandra. Hi Justine. We will be over for dinner soon. The, come on over. I'll put the water on. Uh, ciao Laura. Maybe still nothing for you? No, I didn't set it up. I think oh, I, I didn't have to. I set it up. Okay. I think All I right. Next time. Well, Tina this said, is a learning curve. Tina said dobbiamo fare i gnocchi. E Tina, qua ho fatto gli gnocchi con i carciofi. I made artichoke gnocchi with, that are delicious. Uh, quali alla Sorrentina con le patate come li vuoi con l'acqua o con la ricotta you have eight on youtube I, I mean on facebook what ok Vincenzo ha e Serena che fa questo bello video è yeah. Sabrina che fa il video ok so I'm gonna go ahead uh, alright that's Don't. frying I'm going to go ahead and add my tomato. Ah, you see? That's what you want. Okay. I want the tomato to cook a little bit. No schizzo di vino, poco poco. Okay. I'm gonna let the. Uh, I don't know what kind of wine it is. I just put a little dry Pinot Grigio in, okay? Se la cucina non si inzeva, non state cucinando bene. All right, let this pick up heat. There you go, mash the, the tomatoes down a little bit. I cook quick. You have nine viewers. Hello, my nine viewers. Thank you for watching. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just cleaning up as I go. Ecco qua. See, this cooks rather quick. When they need to salire l'olio, when the oil comes up, that means it's already cooking. It's almost ready, I'm gonna say. Leave it on a high flame. Another thing, a little parsley. I like to wash the bunch of parsley before I put it in my glass of, of water so it doesn't spoil. Okay, here it goes. Just bunch it up like this and just chop it. Okay, ecco qua. Uh, Fausta said it's always a treat for me when I watch you cook. Thank you, Fausta. It probably, Fausta, does it remind you of your beautiful mama? Because we were. I'm sure we grew up with the same food. Uh, incredible thing. Fausta's mother was a schoolmate to my grandmother. Is that like unbelievable or what? My grandmother was born in uh, 1909 and they went to school together. Is Antonia Starita still on? Um, no? no? Well, the, uh, Fausta's... Uh, Fausta's mother went to school with my grandmother and Antonia Sarita's uh, grandmother. They were sisters. So that's wonderful. Okay, ecco qua. Guardate che bei colori. Look at the beautiful colors. All right, now what I'm going to do is add. Justine said, that's incredible. Muscle. Thank you, Justine, my darling. Justine, but do you like muscles? I don't know. I don't think so. I know Noel does. Okay. And Fausta says, yes, ecco he does. Qua. That's why I love to watch. Thank you, my darling. Okay. Ecco fatto. I'm going to leave it open because it's going to release water and I want the muscles to open up. Justine said no, she doesn't like that. I knew that, Justine. I know you so well, my darling. Anyway, any questions, any recipes you want to see? Ci sono ricette che volete vedere? Qualche domanda? 
Nothing. No well, questions. Well, also let the comments come in. All right. It takes time. I know it does. Yeah. Justine said, but wonderful to watch you cook everything. Thank you, Justine. Okay. Guys, come closer. You'll see the muscles are opening up. It's really quick. Ah, Tina hai ragione. La pepata di cozze come la mangiavamo a Castellammare. A Ghishalè. <laughs> Valentina said pizza. <laughs> Pizza, <laughs> Valentina, for the pizza video, I'm gonna come to your daddy. I'm gonna come to the restaurant and do that. <laughs> he said pizza. <laughs> you wanna see pizza? Okay, well definitely will. A nice video on how to make pizza. It's a little hard live. I would have to have the dough already made and then just bake it. So, um, but it's all, it's a good idea. Everybody loves pizza. It's always a perfect time to have pizza. Ecco qui. Guardate le cozze. Take a look how they opened up beautifully. See that? Just give it another minute. You see, that's not, that's not cooked. See, when it's cooked, it's going to look like this. There's a difference. Questa è una cozza cotta. E questa qui non è cotta ancora. So you want it in a little bit longer. Okay. While you guys show this, I'm going to get the plate to plate my uh, meal. Um, Fausto wants to know, have you made any, any recipes from my mom's cookbook? I'm going to be making the pasta fagioli from the cookbook. Mary's okra recipe. I don't know if that's Anna or Vada. What happened? Mary's okra, that's Anna. I was yes, thinking about Anna. <laughs> Anna, yes. Mary's okra is absolutely delicious. Okay, io penso che sono... Ma mi fa venire la voglia di domani. Vado a comprare un bacio. Certo, Patrizia, perfetto, perfetto pranzo domenicale. Domenicale, domenicale fare le cozze. Ecco qui. Comunque sono pronte, they're ready to go. What I'm gonna do is, now if my, uh, the video camera, crew members. the crew members move over, we could do the, um, the plating. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Lo straccio lo togliamo, puliamo qua, ecco qua, allora. This goes right here, e pure queste qua. How long did it take to cook this, really? Like, just like 15 minutes. 15 minutes, veramente. One easy, five. easy recipes. Okay, allora. 23. Oh, actually, okay. well, it took like 15 minutes to make it. The video was 20 minutes. I, I promise I'm going to start doing a better job on letting everybody know when I'm going live. Okay, ecco qua. Tina said to make pasta fagioli with mussels. Yes. Who said that? Tina. Tina, okay. That's also a great idea. Ecco qua. With the cream sauce. And it smells just delightful. Let me clean the plate. Okay. Ci mettiamo due crostoni. I'm gonna do the, the delicious croutons I made. Extra virgin olive oil, pecorino romano, and here they go. Okay, ecco qua. Ci mettiamo, where's my time? A little time, right on top, like this. E ecco a voi il primo piatto. Ecco qua, all right? Now, ecco qua, allora. Primo piatto, mussels with a sherry, Thyme cream sauce. Delicioso. Ora, il secondo piatto. This one is gonna be, uh, uh, this is gonna be more napoletano. And this is going to be, let me get the other scola pasta. You know what, here's what, this works fine. Ecco qua. Also, with this, with this dish, with the tomato sauce, 
The great thing is just, just half a pound of vermicelli, spaghetti, delicious. Just half a pound, uh, uh, mezzo chilo di vermicelli, di spaghetti e viene una delizia. Ecco qua. Ok. Qui un po' di prezzemolo sopra. quick was this right How quick? <laughs> ah, and there you go you go to a restaurant uh, it's gourmet but guess what it's such easy home meals so quick and easy to make um, we also have on the body which is basically mussels pepper and lemon that's it delicious the juices that come out of it just bring it together Anyway, any more questions? Should I taste it or um, I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna go with the cream sauce one first, okay? I'm gonna grab the cream here. I don't wanna ruin the plate. Your deal. Fausta said- I just Sabrina went back to Brussels. Delicious. <laughs> Fausta said, Sabrina, you can eat my portion. <laughs> Fausta, she will, I'm sure. Mm. Ora, da Bruxelles, scendiamo um, a Napoli. Ecco qua. Un altro po' di salsetta. Oh, divina. Veramente buonissime. Delicious. Thank you for watching. Do we have any questions? Any other recipes you guys want to see? Or do we wrap up the live? Just wrap it. Good. We're going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you. We're going to try to do this every Saturday right around this time. It seems to work great for the family. Uh, and I hope it's great for you guys too. Grazie per la visione. Cercheremo di fare i video il sabato pomeriggio perché è un ottimo orario per noi e spero che lo sia anche per voi. Grazie per la visione. Love you all. Thank you. Ciao a tutti.